gentlemen, and as always, thank you for watching. Today we've been called by a customer that has a semi-truck with a loaded trailer that has broken down on the interstate. It is all safely on the shoulder, but the shoulder is not always a safe place to work. Uh, we have traffic whizzing by us at uh, 70 mile an hour plus. Uh, Ethan and Gavin are behind me in the traffic control to try to help push people over. Uh, I had thought about split towing it because this is an automatic transmission truck that we're towing, but the driver said it's loaded very heavy. It's uh, almost 44,000 pounds and the temperature is very hot. It's over 100 degrees actual air temperature, which means even though it's asphalt, or bitumen as some people call it, uh, the shoulder will be soft, especially to drop that heavy of a load. Would not want to do so. We could probably do it and support the legs, uh, put plates or something under it, but I feel much more comfortable just doing a regular standard old combination toe. So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, here we go. Okay, we are here. People are not getting over, and Ethan and Gavin are sitting behind this truck with the traffic control truck and the arrow board pointing people over. And they're still not getting over. Okay, so Ethan and Gavin are going to set up some traffic control, try to get some people moved over. I'm going to grab some bug spray. Just try to keep the uh, chiggers and ticks off of me. Watch out, Gavin. Uh, both of you, please stand on the other side. Hey Gavin, why don't you go help him with some of the cones, please? I'm Ron, we spoke on the phone. Yeah, Brayman. That just uh, condensation from the AC, I yeah, guess, yeah. coming out? Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I had it running before. Yeah. Why do they have these silly spacers in there? In between the U-bolts uh, for some reason. Well, we can still make it work. I we got the uh, legs up on the... Uh, if you want to drop it. Well... We're right over the crest of this hill. And the bad problem is once we get it, uh, even if we get it unhooked, 
You can see the trailer's leaning already. Yeah, it's got some work. It's got a little bit of a lean, and then even if we get it unhooked, we gotta have a way to turn this truck around safely. And over the crest of that hill, I don't feel comfortable enough turning that truck around. That's okay. That's, you know, I just, I just trying to help you out. Oh, I understand, and I do appreciate it. I just, <laughs> I mean, whatever makes your job easier. That's just, unfortunately, that's not gonna work. I think I can get under it with my standard forks. Should be right there. Oh, really? Seven o'clock in the morning, nine o'clock at night, they come and get me. Oh my goodness! Were you out in the middle of nowhere or something? I was at a truck stop. Oh, okay. Next time, I was truck said to regen it, right? So I regen the truck. I went back in the back and I'm laying down. And I'm like, you know, that rev revs up real high. Right. I'm like, dang, that thing is running high. This is 40 minutes later. Okay. 40 minutes, it's still done. I get up, I got a light. I got two lights pointing. Okay. One says stop engine. Oh. I stopped the engine. I shut it off. And that was all she wrote. And I went the morning to the bottom. When I got up, cranked it up, it moved about 200 feet. And it stopped. So I called them and I said, well, they wanted me to lift it into, I was supposed to drop the trailer off at Target, which was right around my corner. Uh-huh. And I said, well, it ain't gonna go nowhere. What do you mean? I said, it went 200 feet and shut off. I said, it's this thing regen, I regen it, and it's got the red lights on it. And they said, I'm going to have a tow truck come get you. So I just limped it back around, parked yeah. it at a parking spot, and sat there all day long waiting for them. All right, guys. Uh, bring me back so the end of the T-head's right in front of the bumper. Okay. I'll still have plenty of room to maneuver. Traffic control makes a big difference. Wouldn't think it would, but it does. As long as I've got enough reach. Yeah, see, now you're good. Well, as long as I've got enough reach, we'll be all right. It's gonna be close. I'm like three inches too short. Really? Oh. It's all right, we'll get it.
Pretty doggone close. Scoot this one in just a little bit. May have to go with a taller fork and lift it. Alright guys, I'm lifting it up! Okay. I'm gonna have to put it on some blocks and get different... Uh... You guys clear? Guys, coming down. You clear?
Yes, they do. Oh, it's all part of it. Just part of the job. How long have you been doing this all your life? Ah, uh, 30 plus years. Yes, you can save most of your life. Yep. What got you to do wanting to do this? Ah, uh, well, my dad. It is that my son's back here underneath the back of it. Yeah, All right, much better. Darn it. Huh? Well, no, I keep these back here. I was one step ahead of myself. I was going after my tie down chains. Wasn't paying attention that I had those in my hands. Blocks. Put a little bit of pressure on this. Hey, boys, coming. Uh oh, we're on the last one. But the impact wouldn't take them off, so we had to break them loose with the ratchet. And then we're just zipping. Yeah, them those are back. those are the hard ones. Yep. Okay. I'll find out if the truck runs, and okay. we'll stay running. If it does, that'll help us. Does your truck have an idle shut down, an idle timer on it? It or, does if it goes below, uh, 70 below what? 70 degrees. Okay. So 
So it, it'll stay running for as long as we need it to run then right now. Yeah. As hot as it is. Yeah. That, with our current heat, that won't be a problem staying above 71 degrees. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that too. I can hook into the brakes if I need to. I will hook um, service air up to it, but as long as your truck runs to keep the emergency air built, I'll keep your emergency air on. Like I said, as long as the truck runs and doesn't shut down. Yo! You got a hammer? Yes. Uh, the bearings don't come off. Those, ca those caps do not come off of there. On that style. That said that those caps, those caps do not come off on that one. They don't? They do not. They are strapped together. Oh, okay. I see it now. Yeah, they are strapped together. The only thing that you need to do now is pick up your tools, put everything in a uh, bag, in the driver's floorboard, remember? Yep. And then you need to tie the shaft up. Remember what we did up in Michigan? Remember how he had to rearrange it? With the chain? Well, we're gonna use our uh, ratchet straps, our uh, retractable ratchet straps like we always do. Yep. I'll show you in a minute. Let me get get some of this. You get that picked up, I'll get some of that. Yes? How do I uh, break it loose? How does it You'll need a pry bar or a hammer. <laughs> or both. <laughs> Should be bay number three. Hammer and pry bar should be right there. There's a pry bar right there. That is a pry bar. That's also a pry bar. But then my hammer is right. There's a dead blow right here. Okay. Get two for the steering. There you go. Two for the shaft. Should have put these out to begin with. But. Before you break that loose, get a strap on it. Trust me. Just trying to get it up in there, see which way it would fit first. Okay. But you you don't want to break that thing loose without having a strap on it. Yes. What do we do with these there. bolts? Put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the driver's okay. floorboard. We'll get that. All right. All right. Now, hold on. Follow my lead for a second. Take that hook right there and go through the center of the yoke between the yoke and the U-joint. So like right here? Right there, right where Gavin's finger is. Take that end through there. Okay. And then bring it over the top. Back towards you. There you go. Now you can hang both of these up and it'll swing it sideways. 
and hold it up at the same time as long as you find a good solid anchor point up at the top. Well, I was thinking about um, right here. Maybe. Will these work? No. 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 The, yeah, this will work right there, Ethan. As long as. Uh, well, you can go right here too. Yeah. On a step. Work. Yeah, I I keep the ones in the ones in here work. Yeah, All of right. course you have the good ones. Keep keep some tension on it. Now, right. watch out because you are gonna swing towards the air dryer. Yes, that's why I'm putting my legs up here. Alright. Just don't ever put your face or anything else under there while you're popping it loose. Those you normally can't do with just a pry bar. Yep. Yeah, Gavin, take that dead blow and hit that the tip of that cap forward nope not not there not there see the tip on the outer edge like these nope the one you were just on that tip right there right where the head of the hammer is on right now hit it take it and knock it forwards Other not there, you, there go. you go towards the front of the truck now you gotta actually hit it hit it hard check the sights on your hammer there Gavin they're off <laughs> I'll try it Oh, they, they can be a pain in the butt now. There you go. As long as you're making progress with it. Is it moving, Ethan? I can't see from here. I don't think it's no. moving at all. You gotta hit it hard. Yep, hard, hard, hard. Once you break it loose, the uh, pry bar will usually finish it off. Yeah, but it ain't want to break loose. Took all them bolts out. Yep, those are these are just a typical pain in the butt. You're not gonna do it with pry bar. I'm telling you. I'm still trying. Well. Here, wait a Did he make a... No, you'll warp the hole. You don't want to do that. You can try that, just don't bust yourself. Like that. Good thing you had the army gloves on. Well, you're bending the pry bar. Guess I'm just that good. Okay, stop. Both of you stop. If that's not working, you have to come up with a different plan. not as heavy as I had hoped. I do have a sledge if needed. Here, try this little two-pounder instead of that dead blow. Again, don't get your face under it. It's what? I can't hear. It's the crap out of the ears. Well, the ears are okay as long as you don't tear up the cap. I see progress now. Now come back on the other side. I really can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Hit it on the outside ear, just a tap, not much. Okay, now try with your pry bar. Hold your knee up against it so it doesn't fall. Yeah, watch yourself, Gavin. Do not let it fall on your face. You actually need your knees up on it instead of your hands. That's what I'm 
putting my leg up here again. <sighs> nope. Okay, gonna have to hammer some more. Some of them are just some of them are difficult. I mean, and this is a, isn't even a uh, a drive-in shaft. Yeah. The drive-in shafts are real pain. Can be even with the tool. Oh, I hate drive shafts. Do I need the sledge? The full uh, size sledge? Gavin's working on it a little bit. There we go. Hold on, Gavin. Hold on. Let me get it to the dry bar and then we'll try to work together on it. There you go. All right, now tighten this. There okay, went. there it is. Now let, right, it, I got it with my leg. let it swing down real nice and easy. There you go. All right, hold now. it right there again. You got it? Mm -hmm. Well, the biggest thing is here, let it swing over a little bit. Ethan, let it swing over some more because you don't want it up against that yoke as that yoke turns. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can come up some more with it. Okay. Gavin, help him hold up on it. Well, it's plenty far away from the yoke. It's just, okay. I need it up in that way. Well, there we go. Just here, like we need another one around it. Well, that, nope, that won't fit around it, will it? Hold on. Hold on. I always put a backup on here. Yeah. Okay. Let go over there. We're good. We got it now. Well, shoot. That's good. Here. Look right up here. Well, no, I needed the I want the handle on this other side so I can work it better. Well. It's okay. Please. I here. beg you. Come on, somebody else, get in there. It's uh, not wanting to tighten up for me. Okay, good enough. Now we got two on it. All right, take the sled and ratchet it up. Here's your glasses. Uh, just hold them for a second, please. Got it. All right, normally, for a straightforward tow, of a truck and trailer. I would not secure the steering wheel the way I'm going to do. However, as you will see shortly, I have good reason for doing so. That's what they told him, we gotta call the cops. Okay, Gavin, Ethan, you guys put the those blocks all came out of uh well yeah the safety chains need to go on before the blocks come out i needed to turn the wheel just a little bit but yeah take the uh, safety chains the breakaway chains okay breakaway chains just over the uh spring leaf you know what i'm talking about right behind the front hanger turn the steering wheel Ethan put the uh, drive shaft bolts in a Ziploc bag in the driver's floorboard. And so whether whether the truck goes to our shop or somebody else's shop, they're there easy to find. And I'm going, as always, to the base of the seat. Not any portion of the seat that goes up and down. steering wheel is going to collapse down on us anyway. So. Okay. 
Come on, get in there. What? Which side do you take the blocks out of? Driver or passenger? Both. If you're done underneath, put take, uh, put all the blocks back and the first bay on the front stud. Uh, uh, front bay and the passenger side, number seven. Okay. Number seven. Seven. Front bay. Uh, not yet, sir. what the current air pressure is okay it's below 60 we'll have to wait until it builds up around 90 to release all the brakes want me to go ahead and start tearing down back there not yet we still got to hook air uh and we need the light bar on the back of the trailer if you want to set the, you guys want to set the light bar up that'd be great Okay, while well, that's building. I will get. Pressure is up good. Make sure everything releases okay. Parking brake off. See if we can fit this properly. Go properly. All right, this is not a product endorsement or anything like that. This is just uh, a new to us device that we are using. Other people have used these for a long time with great success. We've never used them, we've done it other ways. We've tapped into the brake system. There's multiple ways to do that, but if this can make it a little easier for us and make it safer, that's what we're gonna try. One end goes on the brake pedal of the semi that you're moving. Make sure it's on there good and tight. there I'm 
probably gonna need another one of these. Probably. Oh, yeah, this is the... It used to be called a brake buddy. Yeah. Somebody else started building it now. But the theory so is... It literally just controls the brake pedal with the it, yeah. service there. Once you get this clamped in on the steering wheel solid... Uh -huh. Keeps the steering wheel from moving at the Well, no, you have, to, you have to lock the steering wheel with the straps still. But then you lock to the brake pedal. This is adjustable. Has a T-handle here to adjust the rod in and out so yeah. it's not pushing on the brakes. And then in theory... Whenever we, uh, well, 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 once you shut the door, you can take a few more lengths out of that. Well, I want to leave it that way. Now, I need another. Okay, brakes are released. Everybody clear? Yeah. All right. Watch yourself, sir. Okay. Get it into towing position first. Now, take the slack up out of your chains, please. Six inches off the pavement with the steers is usually sufficient. Depends on your terrain and around here, six inches is high enough off the pavement to do what we need to do. Oh yeah, they'll do that. You have to pick up on the inside of that chain. I am. Here, start by putting it over the roller. Know. That'll help. Hey, is that or do you want me to get one? That's actually a little bit too much, buddy. Yeah, I want it to slag down so that I have plenty enough room to turn. For a minute, I knew I saw something moving. Like this up against the uh, body. Car hose. Grab a section of car hose. Fire hose? Yeah. Where's the line? Well, So I've got the trailer brakes on mine released, even though it's blocked off. This truck is building its own air. Okay, Ethan. What? Oh, you're getting that? All right. Go up front and just push on the brake. I want to make sure this foot thing works. Yes, 
Yes, I know. Brakes are released and doors open. See Ethan up in the cab yet. Here, Ethan, go hit the brake for me. Go hit the brake for me, please. Just the foot brake, just push down on it. If everything's hooked up right, that air cylinder should extend whenever Ethan pushes on the brake. And it did, there it went. Then it should release. There it is. Good to go. That works. That works. That works. Truck brakes and trailer brakes all together. Good. You don't have to undo it. Oh. I didn't know they were cut open like that. Yep. They're split open so we can get them around whatever easier rather than having to thread them through it. Wow. Good idea on this, by the way. Now if we can just keep it on here without it blowing off. Zip tie or tape, either one. Yeah, I should have zip ties in here. I should have tons of zip ties in here. If not, here's some Quaker tape. Watch your back, but always watch behind you. I know, also there was nobody coming here. Just hold it out. Yeah, there was a giant Dodge Ford Gen pickup truck I've been flying by in our lane earlier. This the front part and this right here is all I got to worry about. Okay. So I put out the emergency scene sign. Okay. To get everybody over. Yep. But I made sure you can still see the ground board and the lights on the truck just fine. Yep. Shoot. I need hand wipes. All right. So what's the last thing we do? Walk around, make sure everything's working right. Tow warning, automated transmission, remove drive shaft or remove all drive axle shafts or tow with all drive wheels raised. Failure to do so will result in major transmission damage. <laughs> That's why it's being towed because it's got transmission damage. Oh, we don't want to cause any more though. Oh, my chains are dragging just a hair. Bring it up a little higher See, than a. That's huh? what you get whenever you don't have the uh, Eaton Endurant XD Pro. Yep. A little free advertisement for them. Now. All right, let's pick up my cones. You got the. You guys got the uh, light have, bar on, right? We have cones back there and the sign to pick up too. Uh, and I gotta grab my glasses off the bumper. Which bumper? This one. No, I don't, because I already grabbed them. Right up there. Oh no, they were up there. Your glasses? Yeah. They're in the traffic control where you told me to put them. Oh, oh that's right, I did have you okay. put them in there. All right, Thank so you. you've got the light bearer on. We're good. Okay. You guys start picking up your stuff. Gavin, uh, pick up the triangles for the driver. Ethan, you pick up the others, and then Gavin, you come back and help him. I'll finish picking mine up, and we'll roll out. Checked everything. Our hookups, our chains. Make sure the fifth wheel is latched and it is. 
still always a good idea to visually verify that. If you'd rather ride in a comfortable pickup with them, you're more than welcome. Nah, it don't matter to me. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. We are ready. Oh, is he? Yeah, we live in Murray, Kentucky. Oh, okay. You're not that far away then. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful colors in this evening sky. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's beautiful pinks and purples and blues. Anyway, beautiful ending to a wonderful day. We'll get this gentleman to the safely to the dealer, get his truck and trailer dropped off, and hopefully head home for some supper. As always, thank you for watching and God bless. trailer that's already sitting there. I walked all this, uh, Ethan and Gavin and I did to make sure that it's solid.
her anyway. Actually, I'd rather have the trailer on that concrete pad back there, but I'll... Well, yeah, but you did really, really good. Well, actually, perfect pulling it through. Didn't drop it off. Got real close to that other trailer, but... It didn't. Didn't hit it. Nope, didn't hit anything. Had I just misjudged a little bit. I turned a little bit too late, but... Well, I was gonna say, you're just a little bit... I had to I had to back up one time just a little bit to finish my turn. But yeah. how are we? Oh man, that's almost perfect with the nose of the other trailer. Yep. Woo! Okay, dolly that one down. Now we just undo everything. All of the lights you guys took out of my truck and put them in that trailer to work on today. All right. Get that loose. Good. Guys there. Take loose on them. Steering wheel. Oh. Do what, bud? Straps go back up here in box number three. We took some viewers' advice. Advice. Oh, I need to turn my headlight or my work lights, work box lights on. Uh, speaking of the work lights, they're in your office. Oh, um, yeah, those work lights. Hold on, just a minute, bud. Toolbox lights. And you should have light. Okay. This goes up here. Yeah, Gavin, that's what I was telling you about. What? I was telling you about that little brake plate thing. Okay. That was my first time using it. I will warn you. I mean, it works great. It works much far superior than what I've been used to, but it hangs just a little bit. Yeah. So whenever you let off the pedal, it doesn't immediately release like I'm used to. Yep. So that's just something I'm gonna have to. Get used to. Yep. Gonna have to get used to it. Okay. 
Okay, so did anybody grab my light bar? Off the trailer. Please grab the light bar off the trailer. That hose, yes, can go in bay number three. Huh. Okay, we may end up just leaving that on there. Uh, it's not wanting to come undone. Yeah, it's all right. all right. You want to put that up for me, please? Glad hands, bay one. Okay, yeah. It goes. It's, Okay. He's probably just asking if you can move the pickup because I think you're in the middle of the lane back there. Oh. Anyway, yeah, it's box one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the other side, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five. Eleven and twelve. No! All right, hold on just a second. Oop, we gotta take the uh, safety chain, breakaway chains off first. Yes, sir. Is your office? No, sir. No, sir. I just towed this in here. I don't work here. Because I drove this trailer and I wanted the uh, proof of the delivery. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think they're open. I don't I don't know anybody here. I know anybody here? I don't. You can go check, but I don't think there's anyone here. Office, uh, office the back side? Uh, right up by that pickup should be the office. Uh, see the pickup truck, the yeah. white, white truck? Uh, right up in front of that, it should say office. Oh. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. You. Safety chains. If you do them right, you shouldn't have to get under it. Just one-handed operation. Unhook and go. All right. Anyway, we are almost finished. We're going to get this thing uh, dropped out. Go home and grab something to eat. I am hungry. Nobody injured. Just a transmission issue. Once we got set up on scene, uh, we actually had uh, quite a bit, few people that got over for us, so that's always helpful. That traffic control has come in. Uh, just amazingly dad was uh of course i had pushed for something but dad was one that uh finally gave the green light and said let's go for it we got to do something to keep our guys safe so glad we got that truck anyway i'm rambling as always thank you for watching and god bless